Thank you. Uh, my name is John Mendoza. I need to warm up a little bit, kind of a warm up starter. So I'm going to do something that's kind of kind of easy with some dice. It's not really a trick. It's not going to fool you. It's not. It's not going to fool you. Not a trick. It's just kind of a show off thing. It's not really a trick. <coughs> It's one of those I can do it, you can't things. It's just a fancy way to shake up dice. You shake the dice like this, and your friends will say, Man, I don't want to play Yahtzee with him. <laughs> Here's what it looks like. Kind of fancy, huh? See, but I had a problem whenever I did it. I could never see what number I was. Isn't that crazy? <clears throat> and I thought if I could pick them up in pairs, they wouldn't have time to stand up like that. But that shows you how wrong you <clears throat> Now, there's one way you can do it so they won't stand up, and that's if you start with them in a little bit square like this. Now, you cover them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, nothing. See, they just don't do it when you do it like that. In fact, they're so big, they almost don't fit inside the cup. So if you start with them in a little square like that and shake them all night, never get them to stand up. Oh. I'll show you something kind of crazy. I thought if they're always going to stand up like this and I can't see what number I rolled, I might as well learn to do something with them. So this is what I learned. How many dice, how many spots on top of that die? Five. Very good, very fast. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Would you believe if I told you there's a five on top of that stack? Yes. <laughs> I, got some, I got some land I want to sell you. What's on top there? <laughs> you know, a lot of people think I cheat when I do that. So I'm going to ask you, would you, sir, just pick any one of the five dice? Any one at all? Thank God you took that one. <laughs> I'm going to shake these, and when I get them onto the cup so I can't see them, I want you to roll that die, okay? okay. Whatever number you roll, I'm going to make come on top. But make sure that mine are all into the cup so I can't see them. Make sure your roll stays on the table, okay? Okay, go ahead and roll. Six. Good, six. I'm really glad you rolled six. Because I have never in my career missed on a six by more than two, okay? <laughs> Well, the problem was the problem was that the, the number you rolled was too big. It doesn't work with big ones. Little ones work. <laughs> you know why big ones work and little ones don't? What? See, you're not paying attention because big ones. Oh. Work. <laughs> Thank you. Trying <laughs> to drive you to drink, wouldn't it? I don't know about you, but I'm ready. <laughs> I love Las Vegas. Las Vegas dice, a dice cup, and some dice. You might want to check those out, make sure they're okay. Just ordinary stuff. That's what I like. You go to any bar. Well, not any bar. <laughs> but you could. Go to a bar, get a dice cup. You know, you get some dice. Here's a little quick impromptu mystery you can do any time. All I do is I lay them out. To make it easy to follow, I'm going to lay them out in order. That's the one. This would be the two. Yes. <laughs> yeah? What's next? <laughs> All right, lucky guess. <laughs> and lastly, of course, the four. So the one, the two, the three, and the four. Four dice, two empty hands, and an empty dice cup. It's a simple mystery. I found out from experience that if I cover two, two will be exposed. I can do this anyway. I can cover these two, the other two. <laughs> no, really, no matter how you do it. Cover two? No. Any combination. I want them to hop around, so I'm going to cover the ace and the two, the one and the two. I'm going to try to get it to go from one side to the other. Look, 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 I felt it. Look. The two just jumps across. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'll do it again. Look, look, the, the three is next. A little rub. Yep, 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 the three. The last one here, you can help out. Just touch over here. Wiggle your fingers over there. Nice job. Look. Gone from here, over to here. Ladies and gentlemen, ace, two, three, four. Walk away clean. <laughs> Thank you. If you've seen magicians before, as I know you have, you may have seen them do something that they call the walnut shell and pea game. And it normally uses three walnut shells and a little sponge pea. Well, this is a slightly different version. This is my version. This is the I couldn't afford the walnuts. <laughs> version of the walnut shell and pea trick. And instead of using walnut shells, it uses three matchbox drawers and a little white die. But the idea is basically the same. The die is placed under the box. The three boxes are mixed up. 
basically you have to follow where the white dye goes. Well, I mix up in slow motion, might look a bit like this. Just a simple exchange of two of the boxes. I've done at this speed, it's pretty obvious where the white dye is. It's over here. Yes, of course. However, if you were to start getting gamble happy and you wanted to put some money on it, I'd place this under here, and as you placed your money down, I'd do it slightly differently. I'd move two boxes at the same time, trying to confuse you. Well, if you're watching it carefully, you should realize that it should be under the center one. But the strange thing is, it isn't under the center one, it's actually under this one. And you look at it and you think, I thought I was following that. I'll give it another go. I've lost some money. I don't care. I'm rich enough. So the, the dice goes back under the, the box again. You put down some more money. This time I would move them in a different sequence again, trying to confuse you. Well, if you're watching carefully, you should realize it should be over here. No, I'm afraid not. It's not over there. It's back over here again. Odd, isn't it? I'll let you into a little secret, actually. I don't normally do this, but uh, we're all friends here today. And, and that is that this is not a normal dice. It does things other dice can't do, and this is how the whole thing works. And so if I place it onto the back of that box and cover it with this one, and we do that, straight away it goes through the back of that box and underneath. In fact, if I take the dice and put it away completely, we can take this one stage further. I'm just going to stack the boxes one on top of the other, like this. What I have to do now is to remove the dice invisibly. You will have to trust me. <laughs> no chance of that, then. <laughs> place it on the top of there. And and it goes down through that box, through that box, and ooh, look, onto the back of that box. Now, some people say to me, uh, uh, sorry, I've worked this out now, you, you, you're using more than one dice. Would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, yes, I would if I could get away with it. Yes, the extra dice I'm using is that green one there, that green one there, <laughs> and that green one there. And of course, those three red ones there. <laughs>